What are petroglyphs, and what can they tell us? Cliff Art suggests, Legends of the Underground. The ant people rescued Native Americans not once, but twice. This occurred when the earth was destroyed, first by fire, and then by ice. And one earth world passed into another. It is told down through the generations, in Native American story, that the ant people took groups of virtuous humans into their underground homes and protected and taught them until the earth was safe for humans to once again walk in the sun. During cataclysmic conditions in the past, things got harsh. The ant people saved these tribes and lived with them. Once conditions got better, the tribes moved back above ground. Ant people are real. Squatter man was all over the earth and can be recreated in a plasma lab. He may be returning it to our sky sooner than later. It seems like the polarity flip is coming soon. My current theory on this cyclic flip comes from the myth of Kernunos, where he is only present from spring to summer. I don't believe they are referring to our one-year cycle, but to a cosmic cycle where 3,000 years is roughly one season, so spring and summer would constitute about 6,000 years. Earth probably experiences 6,000 years of twilight purple skies, than 6,000 years of blue skies. In central Ontario, Canada is a remarkable site and provincial park called the Petroglyphs, situated on traditional indigenous people's land. There are clear indications of contact with what can only be interpreted as extraterrestrial entities in the glyphs inscribed on solid rock long ago. This is a little known treasure of Canadian culture, but worth a visit. I was told by elders that these depict the Ye or holy or star people our sand paintings have similar entities. If you want to understand the enigma to these paintings, watch them come to life under a firelight. It's made to move in motion with a flickering fire. I hope these pictographs are well protected and preserved. I saw some petroglyphs in southern Alberta at Riding on Stone Provincial Park, and they were beautiful. Some were destroyed by tourists before security measures were put into place, and it was disgusting to see the vandalism. I love how the animals are pretty accurate in these, while the people are look like completely different beings. I have lived in Arizona and Nevada for over 35 years and have in my travels in the deserts and mountains of both of these states seen hundreds of petroglyphs and found hundreds of ancient sites. It is obvious to me that something remarkable went on in this part of the world in times past. I have also had what I can only describe as spiritual experiences at a few of these sites which have given me a connection to the past in the land where I call home. I lived also in New Mexico. It is a place unlike anywhere else. You see things drawn and built by people that are so old you can feel it. We know so little about our history. These pieces of the past only tease us with their haunting beauty. I've walked all over my home and am still in awe that I'm lucky enough to live here. I've seen paintings in bandolier that resemble dinosaurs and things from the sky shining down on figures like some of these. The art after that is almost painful to view. Go down one valley and up the other side, and there are the remaining parts of mountain lions carved in stone. I hope we never lose what is left. I lived at what for me was a 10-minute walk from petroglyphs as a child, and I never understood how anyone could deface something like them so easily and with no remorse.